Greetings, Harnast, Guten Tag, and all that. <laughs> Hello, guys. Whoo, what a week. What a week. I'm, I'm going to be tied up at the end of this week. Well, the last couple of days of this week, taking uh, Janet to hospitals. Uh, two hospitals, in fact. And uh, so we're all still a little bit up in the air. But um, first of all, if I head off over to the old hinterweb and I had a comment off Lazos I hope Lazos I'm pronouncing your name properly he comes from Greece and uh, yes and he just says that he wants to uh, say that the he's got the newest version of Lightroom and there is no such preset as zeroed anymore um Lazos mm, there is it's just you can't see it so what I'm going to do is just head off over to Lightroom. Um, I'm, I want to discuss something else that's um, <laughs> not in Lightroom, but is in Camera Raw. But I want to just cover Lazos's question first. And Lazos, um, if we're in the develop menu, Lazos thinks that the presets are here. And yeah, these are basically profiles over on the right hand side and your basic treatment color or black and white but over here on the left hand side are your presets now huh, we've got defaults which are adobe's recommended defaults we've got user presets which is where if you're a member of my patreon you've got all these uh, different presets that I supply my Patreon members with and I've shown you guys on YouTube how to make before and um, we've got this weird thing called optics but we haven't got visual sight of the old general ones general presets so what we need to do and what Lazos needs to do is to come to this little plus sign over here in presets Click it and go to Manage Presets. All right, and if we scroll down this list, you can see Classic General. And if we put a check mark in there, and we might as well uncheck that blooming optics thing, um, I'm just going to go Save. And whoop de do Classic General, zeroed. Yeah. So if I just go and reset this. Um, quite sexy image of the uh, Coast Guard station at um, Ross Collin on Anglesey with the Milky Way over the top of it. You can see that Lightroom by default makes a right hash of it. If we slip it back over to zeroed, you can see that the contrast just drops a little bit. But you see zeroed isn't actually neutral. Um, if I go to a process version swap, now we can see what a neutral image looks like. And uh, yeah, it's dull, it's flat, and it is a little bit underexposed, but I shot this with the um, Nikon D4. Well, actually, I didn't shoot this, our Richard shot this. I was shooting on the D800E. And you need to, when you're doing Milky Way photography, you just need to air just on the side of a little bit of underexposure, probably two thirds of a stop underexposure. So you keep the color in the fainter stars, otherwise they overexpose and they all go white. And uh, therefore the image loses some of its impact. All righty. Right, so Lazos, as I said, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, my friend. Um, don't forget, you just go to presets over on the left hand side manage presets and just make sure you've got classic general checked there and just click save and then you'll gain your zeroed preset back in lightroom okay so the other thing i wanted to talk about is this yes all right and um, well it's not really this but uh, we're going to use this raw file as an example and if I go to the library module, yes, and you can see I shot this on a Nikon D2XS, 
which is a 12, bit, 12 and a bit megapixel crop sensored camera. It's still a cracking camera as long as you keep it at base ISO. And uh, so we can see this is shot at ISO 100 using a Sigma 180 macro lens. Um, under, uh, 1 320th of a second f7.1 yes so the effective focal length is 270 mil and it's not really the effective focal length at all it's the effective angle of view is equivalent to that of a 270 mil on a full frame camera but let's not get into crop sensors and all this built-in teleconverter crap um, otherwise it's just a rabbit hole I don't want to go down um, oh dear. now what I want to discuss or show you really I don't want to discuss it is a new feature in camera raw okay now we used to well we, we've had this is it in the, here edit enhanced details We've had this enhanced details in Lightroom for a couple of years. And to be quite honest with you, I think it's rubbish. Yeah, I never use it. I did a video on it about two years ago. Um, link up there or down there or wherever. And uh, mm, mm, my thoughts about it haven't changed in so much as I haven't bothered going anywhere near it for, well, <laughs> two years. <laughs> it's, it's crap. Um, there's far better ways of um, up your picture or getting more detail in your picture uh, than doing this. Um, it's not strictly an up thing, really. But anyway, I'm going to cancel. Um, now, you can see, if I just go back to the develop module and I go reset, you can see there's Lightroom's crappy default processing of the image. Um, and if I just go to edit and I go undo reset settings, yes, there we go. That's a lot better. Now we can see absolutely everything in the image. And you can see we've got an awful lot of sharp detail. And where the background is out of focus, um, we haven't really got a lot of noise. That's because the exposure is pretty damn good. Alrighty, now then. What we can do now is inside of Camera Raw, as I said, um, we can do something quite spectacular. Now, if you use Lightroom to view your images, the one thing you'll need to do, see, because if I right click and go show in Finder, is the raw files. Yeah, and there they are in, sitting in this folder, 30 Mar. Mm, yes, 30th of March. And there is the shot in question. Now, these develop settings that I've put on here, um, usually sit in an XMP or sidecar file next to the actual raw file. Now, if I go and open this image as I've processed it, um, inside a camera raw camera raw won't see the adjustments that i've put on it inside of lightroom so what i need to do is i need to go to um is it settings boo, 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 boo. no it isn't photo uh yes photo and i need to go save metadata to file all right now, you can set your catalogs up to always write metadata to file. Um, I've done that in a video somewhere else before. Um, but if I just go continue, and I now go show in Finder, if Finder will decide to show itself, now you can see I've actually got this XMP file sat next to the raw file. So I can now right click on that raw file and I go open with, open with Photoshop. Now remember Photoshop can't open a raw file. No, it invokes Camera Raw. And now you can see that Camera Raw has picked up the process settings from Lightroom because it's read that attached XMP file, which carried all the developed settings 
that Lightroom had put on it or I put on it in Lightroom. Now, before we do anything else, this is because I never come into Camera Raw and it always changes. Every time there's a bloody update, it always goes and changes back to its default. So I need to come to where it says Adobe RGB 1998, click, and I need to change that from Adobe to Pro Photo, and I need to change it from 8 bit to 16 bit, and I'll click OK. Right, and now you can see uh, Pro Photo 16 bit. Right, now here comes the interesting bit. If I right click on the image, I can come down to Enhance. Alrighty, so we've got this raw details thing here, which at the minute I've got greyed out, um, because we've got super resolution. Alrighty, so there's raw details. I think it's improved a little bit from when I did that first video on it, but I really can't see the point in using it. But we've now got this super resolution in the latest update. And you can see in the dialog box, it says doubles image resolution. Ideal for large displays and prints. Yes. And estimated completion time, because this is a, a quite a quick computer. Um, five seconds. So what this is, when it says double the image resolution, what it's going to do, it's actually going to double the long edge and it's going to double the short edge. So in other words, we're going to get an image, which is, if you like, four times the surface area of this original raw file. So I'm going to click Enhance. All right, and let's see what happens. And there we go. That took a little bit longer than five seconds, I must admit. So this is our raw file, okay, at 100% magnification. And this is our enhanced image at 100% magnification. And boy, am I impressed. I am so super duper impressed with that. And if I click open, and there it is in Photoshop, and you can see by default in a fit to screen view, it's only 12.5% mag. So if I... I don't know why my toolbars have gone all bloody funny. Uh, I can't see anything now. Um, double click the magnifying tool. And there we go. And I am so super impressed with that. So if you've got any old images on old 8 and 12 meg cameras. And you want to make big prints out of them. You know what to do, don't you? Process them in Lightroom, save the XMP, then go and open it in Photoshop. That will invoke it opening in Camera Raw, and go and click on that super resolution. Um, because I, I am just so bloody damned impressed with that. That is absolutely fantastic. And what we can do now is we could go and sharpen that, but I'm not going to bother, uh, simply because I want to keep the video short. All right, guys, um, I really, really suggest strongly, in the strongest of terms, uh, that you go and give that a little bit of a go with some of your older images um, off your older cameras, which by nature will either be crop-centred or will be of a lower megapixel count. Um, this is just stunning because it just shows absolutely zero interpolation artifacts. And we have fundamentally gone from an A4 to an A3 to an A2. Yeah, it, it's just unbelievable. And uh, yeah, I am super, super impressed. So there you go, as I said before, give it a go, give it a go, especially on your older images, you will be impressed, and as I said, don't forget, um, go and sort your presets out like I showed you at the start of this video. Alright guys and gals, that's it from me this week, um, whether I'll manage to get one up next week or not, I don't know, it all depends on um, the hospital situation with the wife, because uh, she's got to start a hefty course of radiotherapy 
where she has three doses every day for five days. Um, whether that will be next week, the week after or whatever, I don't know. Um, but that, that will involve me sort of driving her from here to Manchester and then coming back and then going back again and picking her up and then coming back again. Oh, God. So it's like 150 miles every day for five days. Mm, yes. Ah, poor me. Uh, poor the wife, more to the point. Anyway, there we go, guys. Give it a go. See what you think. And uh, But also, the little caveat. Hmm. If you've got noise in your image, it will be somewhere between two and four times as apparent. So uh, just make sure you, you, you do what you need to do with your image uh, before you try that super resolution in Adobe Camera Raw. Right, so now I am going to shut the hell up. Um, so until the next time, guys and girls, um, stay safe, stay well, keep taking the pictures, and uh, I'll see you soon. Two root.